Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Expert at the Card Table, the graphic novel by D.L. Trussman. Before we do that, can you please have a look at cardmagiccourse.com? I've just written a blog on there on the best way to learn magic in my opinion, which really isn't the best way to learn magic, it's the idea that we can learn from all different sources if we go into it with an open mind. But anyway, have a look at that, cardmagiccourse.com or cardmagiccourse.com forward slash blog and, uh, and check out the course. I'm incredibly proud of it. Hundreds of videos and I add to it every month and we have live sessions every week and that's really, you really get your money's worth. It's, a, it's like a little lecture every week and a chat and it's lovely to connect with people at the moment. So, expert at the card table. Expert at the card table expert at the card table and various versions of expert at the card table <laughs> I wasn't going to do that, I'm glad it was there um, annotated her names, that is the Darwin Ortiz one and there's Revelation, uh, oh, can I do that quickly as well? oh no, that one didn't work, I don't know where it is. there we go that's got it in as well and there's a the Forte stuff, we've got a lot of versions, annotated versions, discussion and on expert at the card table and quite rightly so and I think there's another book coming out soon uh, but I think I'm not going to say because I might get it wrong. I thought it was Cave News Company, but I'm not sure. But um, it is fascinating. We're all fascinated with Verdenay's. Well, many of us are because of the, we don't quite know who he was. And obviously Vernon said it was his Bible and that's what he carried around with him all the time. I recently saw David Williamson do this lovely presentation using the Verdenay's book. It is, it is kind of legendary, is it not? So um, do we need another version of it? And, and I suppose that isn't a question to ask because it's, we do have another version of it. And do we need one? No. But we don't need lots of things, but it's nice to have them. I certainly probably don't need any more magic books whatsoever, but I get them anyway. Uh, so Expert at the Card Table is, for me, and this is my opinion, all right, it is, people do get a bit uppity about if you say certain things. Um, it isn't the Bible. It's an early book on card magic that's really fascinating and interesting and intriguing. intriguing. Now, it's probably more intriguing to me than the actual book itself. The book itself is brilliant. I mean, it is, you know, if you can imagine back in the day getting this book, there wasn't really anything else published or, or much published. Um, and it was a clear treatise on, that's the right word, isn't it? Uh, on card magic. And there's a load of stuff in it. And it isn't that hard to follow. It's, it's pretty clear. Um, it's not, it's it's not the most exciting read in the world and this is where it kind of falls flat for me it is a difficult uh, book to learn from and, and David Trussman says in the introduction he always struggled with the book he talks about how he just couldn't learn from it it wasn't it didn't match his style and that is clearly not going to be the same for everybody but it's nice to have that honesty and he said he he came up with this idea of creating something he could learn from because of the way he did learn and what well, being a, an artist himself and a graphic novel artist um, and a very good one by, by, the, by the, um, the drawings in this, he, he set about creating this and, and going on this journey. And interestingly, the pictures, I'll just, I'll just read uh, this from it. Uh, he says, the realisation of just how to create a graphic edition of Expert struck like lightning. I love magic lectures. This would be an experience just like that. A large stock of images would be created. The goal would be a single camera uh, in inverted commas, uh, experience. Every paragraph will be broken down by sentence and matched with talking or demonstration shots. Then the coupe de grace, I don't know how, if that's how you spell it. I'm sure you could, should, could say that in a French accent, but I wouldn't even try it. Um, the original figure drawing uh, drawings will be placed inside the new artwork. All I had to do was figure out how, and then he goes on to tell you how. Now, this is the expert at the card table. It's the whole thing. All right? It's got all the, and if you look at the original book, you know, there's, there's a lot of text uh, in this, and he's taken all of the text into this. Now, that, for the completist, is perfect. And it's, if you've never read it, uh, it's a good way to read it. It's a different way to read it. And for some people, it's going to be an easier way to read it. For me personally, only because I have kind of, you know, been through that book quite a lot. Um, when I did the card magic course, I took a lot of stuff and adapted it from Erdnays, um because I wanted to go back to the kind of the as original of the source as I could. So I would have preferred it to be a little bit of bridge, you know, all the interest stuff, yeah, get a bit of it in there, get onto the moves, um, but that's just my own preference. Like I say, this is the whole Erdnase, but it does differ in the way that it opens up with this kind of narrative of someone turning up, an artist turning up, and he does go in the intro, um, talk about what he's found out by studying the drawings, uh, things he can assume about the artist and about the people's hands they were, and maybe they were different people at different times, etc. That's quite interesting. Also, at the end of the book, um, he will uh, show you how he sort of went through the process of 
getting the drawings and, and getting them onto the page and then putting, putting all the stuff around it. So uh, that was really interesting. So it does differ in that way. It gives you a little bit of a top and tail, a little bit of narrative, but you know, only, only a bit, which kind of gives you an idea, kind of gets you into it um, a little bit differently than the original work. And if you like the graphic novels, you are gonna really, really get a lot out of that. Like it looks like it's a really, really nicely presented piece and a really good addition to the Erdnays canon. Again, the, the the photos, even though they're the same, he's taken these drawings and put them in there. He's changed them. He said he prefers drawings with the lines on the hands that look a little bit more, a little bit more realistic, or I suppose cartoon realistic. I know isn't a word and it's going to insult uh, many an artist, no doubt. Um, but he, he, I think sometimes it's kind of like I, I kind of wanted to see the clarity of where the hands were a little bit up close, a little bit sharper. But again, it's a minor thing. And my feeling is that most people that get this uh, will probably have a version of it or not. And, and, and the good thing is you don't need it. You can have this and you can learn the stuff from it. But it did highlight to me how some passages, as in the original book, are um, challenging to read and learn from, as in a lot of early books and actually in a lot of modern books. As I said, I was reading something the other day and I couldn't quite get the hang of it, but that's just the way it is. So is it really needed? Probably not, but that's okay. Is it a really nice addition to Erdnays? Yes, I think it is. Uh, am I really glad I've got it? And do I enjoy opening it and reading it? Yes, I do. Am I gonna read it from beginning to end at night with a, with a cup of coffee? Probably not because um, coffee at night isn't a good idea anyway. <laughs> Glass of wine would be there, wouldn't it? Um, and it's not really for me a beginning and ending thing. It's something to open up, have a look at and, and take chunks from. But I think it's, a, it's it clearly put loads and loads of work into it. It's a really nice thing to have. The hardback version is apparently coming out or out by the time um, you see this. So, so do check out that and that would be a really nice thing to have as well. But what a, what a load of work that must have gone into that. Um, and, and it's great, again, pluses, Looks good, it's a nice, it's a graphic novel. What more could you want? Uh, minus is, it's still kind of hard to learn from sometimes and can be a little bit repetitive sometimes just because of the amount of text. Uh, but well done, there you go. Uh, check out all the links below, it'll all be there. There is, S there it is, SW Erdnay's Expert at the Card Table by David Trussman. Oh, and check out cardmagiccourse.com. Bye.